memo to self. When Kim says to you, take an umbrella. Take an umbrella, you daft sod. There's been a lot going on, I tell you. It's um, come up today just to see how their plot's been looking. Um, I've only been up on the um, a few occasions just uh, to give the tomatoes, but that was a while ago. Um, so just looking around, uh, yeah. What a mess. I mean, look, there's the melon heads. Look at the state of the melon heads. So, um, what's been happening? Um, well, shortly after my last video, um, we developed a, uh, a leak in the house uh, from the upstairs wet room. Um, yeah, that uh, it got quite bad. Um, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you pictures. In, in the end, obviously, because we um, we rent, um, obviously it took uh, quite a long time for it to come out and repair it. I mean, all in all, I think it was oh, between six to eight weeks. And um, then once that was repaired, um, I then started uh, to paint the ceiling. Because uh, obviously the ceiling was taken away in the downstairs bathroom and the living room. So I, I, I painted and... Uh, Paint you then back, and then uh, from there I thought I'd then paint the bathroom to which Kim then wanted you know, Kim. Uh, Kim then wanted me to then go on and paint a whole house. So <laughs> I hate painting. Um, never done it before because uh, this is the longest we've ever been in one place. Um, obviously, being ex-military. Uh, oh my word! I, I, I think it's been about. Oh my word, must be, must be over 14, 14 different places we've lived. It's got to be, I'll, I'll try and work it out later on, it's, it's, it's a lot, a lot. So this is the longest we've ever spent in one, one house. Uh, so I've never really had to decorate before, um, even when I used to own my own house. I mean, we only had our, our own house for about four years, I think. So, um, but yeah, so. I got my teeth stuck into that and then from there it went on to the painting to um, uh, fit new kitchen cupboards and oh it's, it's still ongoing so the, the the allotment has taken a bit of a backbone so thank you very much for um, sticking with us it's not a dead channel and thank you to all the new subscribers that have subbed um, it's funny because I was I was I've been waiting for us for ages to get over the 500 marks so I was going to do a, um, uh, a little bit of a, um, a giveaway um, and obviously when I was back filming, we was getting close to 500 and it suddenly would go back to 490. And it seems bizarre now that since I've stopped filming that my subs have then gone up and gone over the 500 mark. So um, what does that tell you? Hmm. Bizarre. That's what I do, uh, do less films and um, I might get over a thousand. <laughs> but thank you very much for sticking with us. Now I'm not dead. Um, Kim's doing well. Um, she was quite poorly, um, obviously with the stress and everything. And she had a, 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 a time when she went to the doctors, crying her eyes out. She couldn't stick with the pain anymore. And there was nothing more they could do. So we went down the route of um, going private. Um, and there's this medication we got her on. Um, if anyone's interested, because I know there's uh, quite a few people on it, I've got fibromyalgia. Um, and uh, this medicine doesn't only not treat problems, it does, uh, does a lot of things, it's called low dose naltroxone. Uh, I, I, I shan't go on and bore you with it, but if anyone's interested, you want to stick a, a, a link in the comment and I can get back to you and give you the information. 
of uh, how much it costs and where we get it from and how you can do it. But who knows, your own GP may subscribe it. If your GP subscribes it, all well and good, brilliant. You'll get it, uh, you'll, 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 you'll get the prescription free, but our GP won't prescribe it, so we've got to pay for it. Uh, and um, yeah, it's really, really had a marked improvement on Kim's life. Um, she's watching her physically going up and getting better and better and better. Um, but yeah, I, I, I shan't bore you with everything there, but let's have a, um, a quick November tour of what's going on. Oh my word, tomatoes. Okay. Hmm. There's nothing to. Uh... Oh my well, Look at all the cherries. Uh... Where's all the red ones gone? <laughs> it's gone crazy in there. The old rogue tomato plant. He's uh, he's past it. He looks very dead, as do all the uh, the black variety. Um, this is what I'm going to do for the um, just that empire down. Uh, yeah, what I was thinking about doing, uh, obviously for the giveaway uh, when we reached the 500, was that uh, this tomato plant. Um, we got these seeds from Hoshi, uh, our German, uh, our German friend, and um, he said this was a one that he was sort of um, playing around with. This was his own variety, and he's had a, had a problem. He's lost all his seeds, so he, he believes we are the only ones that have got the seeds left for this. So uh, we've um, got a load of seeds at home from it, uh, as from this one. And oh, there's another black variety here as well. This one here, this one does. Is it this one? We've got two types. We've got uh, a small one, a one that does larger blacks. Or is it these? No, sorry. No, this variety. What am I on about? We've only got the one black variety. Excuse me, it's this one. These, um, these get like a lovely black star on the top of them, which are, are gorgeous. So what we'll do is we'll do a um, we we'll do a, a little competition and a giveaway um, of this variety and that variety. So we'll we'll keep Hoshi seed going. Sounds disgusting, doesn't it? You know what I mean. So we've got Kim's winter cabbages. It's um coming up. We've got a few to pick here. Oh, it is a nice one we can get. I'll take that one home for her. These are the collies, aren't they? Uh, there we go, look at that. We've actually got a collie coming. Could this be the first ever time at grown cauliflowers? The winter variety. It's in there somewhere. It's not. So it looks like we've got the one. Oh, look at that. Not big, but you've got to be happy with that, haven't you? Right, peppers. Peppers. Looking good. Right, let's get picking. Oh, not a bad little haul. Yeah. Bit heavy. Really. Hmm. Other than that, yeah, not bad. Give them a bit of a water in because they've um they've had no water in since I've been up here. And uh, even though it's raining outside, oh not a very good view is it? So I believe we've lost um Bod. Uh as you know he used to be there, didn't he? He's now gone. Um speaking to him, I believe he's gonna start up a uh some new videos because he's moved to a um an allotment uh, closer to where he lives, so he's starting from afresh so that would be good, uh, I have to keep a look out. Whether he's got one up, I, I, I don't know. I've not checked his channel, but he said that he would start up again. So, good news. Um, we all this Bob. Um, yeah, be good to see you, uh, see you in your plot and how you're getting on. Uh, I've noticed someone's already moved into your plot, Bob. Uh, putting up a nice uh, 
bit of green netting. That's going to keep the days out, obviously. Not. Uh, Kim's flower garden. Yeah. Flowerless. Flowerless. So everything needs a good old tidy up. So uh, we're going to have to um, get our bottoms into gear and get ourselves up here. Uh, obviously in the finer weather, I'm not a uh, wet weather gardener. Um, certainly not dressed for it today. Oh no! Uh, right, um, she did tell me to. Make sure you take the umbrella with you, Malcolm. I said, no, it'd be alright. Yeah, look at it. I could be stuck in the greenhouse all afternoon. Because I've, I've left the van out on the road. And I'm not going to sprint all the way down there and spend 10 minutes trying to open the gate to get out. It's all get wet. And all my air gel is going to go in my eyes and sting my eyes. Yeah, they're going to get out there. The end of the season. But, as you know, work doesn't stop in the winter. There's still plenty to do. Uh, that's where I think I left off on my last video. I was um, turning over that bit of soil and I said that I was going to do the rest. Well, as you can see, I didn't. Didn't do it. No, that's still left to do. Grass needs cutting, give it its last grut. cut. Um, yeah. When it stops raining, I'll um, pick a cabbage and then uh, I'll then go off home. So, here's a big old cabbage. That's all we've got. We've got um, cabbage and chilli peppers for tea. Nice. Nice. So, um, yeah, that's me quick November tour. Uh, so, um, I'll get a uh, one up shortly. It, um, in the next couple of days, reference the, um, the giveaway for the uh, tomato seeds for the, for the, for the blacks. Because um, they are, oh, un un unbelievably, they are delicious. So, um, get yourself involved in that one. Uh, obviously, with the... Uh, the restrictions on sending seeds across abroad and all bits like that. I don't really want to get involved in that. Uh, so, unfortunately, it will only be open to UK viewers. Um, I know I have a few elsewhere, so I do apologise for that. Um, uh, yeah, nothing really much else to say. This is hard work, doing. When you've had a bit of a break for a while, it's all hard work to get back into this, talking to yourself. Well, not talking, I'm talking to you. Um, but obviously for me up here, I'm talking to myself like an absolute crazed madman. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is it. Um, so until the competition, um, we're here, we're safe. Uh, the house is all freshly painted and looking good for Christmas. I may put a few pickies up at the end here so you can just have a quick look. Um, and I will see you in the next video. So thank you very much for sticking around. Um, Kim should make an appearance in the next one. Uh, so until the next one, have a good one. Mm.